This video is about weight loss on keto. What should you expect? What is normal? How do you maximize your weight loss or break a weight loss plateau? Keto turns on fat burning. Actually, it maximizes fat burning. When carb intake is very low, the body has no other choice but to burn fat for energy. It even converts fat in the liver into ketones to fill the brain. So the whole body becomes a fat burning machine. Perhaps that's why more than 30 high quality scientific studies show that compared to other diets, low carb and keto diet results in more weight loss. So how much weight loss should you expect? This is highly individual and clearly not everyone loses the same amount of weight. That said, there are some typical results. Most people lose quite a bit of weight during the first week, typically three or four pounds or about 1.5 kilograms, sometimes even much more than that. And this seems great and people often think, okay, if I lost four pounds in just one week, then I will lose 200 pounds in a year. But that's not going to happen. The thing is that much of the weight loss in the first week is water weight as the body burns through its stored carbs glycogen and as insulin levels drop increasing urination so if you were a bit swollen and blotted when you start keto after one week it's likely gone and so are a few pounds of water weight the actual fat mass burned during the first week is more like one or two pounds and that is roughly what you are going to expect to lose every week on keto if you have plenty of excess weight to lose. About one or two pounds a week or 50 to 100 pounds in a year is typically. In kilograms, about half that. Women are often at the low end of that range, while men and especially younger men might lose excess weight even faster. So weight loss is very unfair. Some people have it easy, while it's more of a challenge for others. But it's always possible as you get closer to your ideal weight, the weight loss will slow down. As long as you eat when you are hungry, you are not going to lose one pound a week until you disappear. Instead, you will gradually start maintaining. But here is another very important thing. If you stand on a scale once a day, you will not lose the same weight every day. The line will not be straight. Instead, you might lose 3 pounds one day and gain back 2.5 pounds next day. This is because of fluctuating levels of fluid in the body and fluctuating stomach contents. It's unavoidable. Just accept that your weight will jump up and down a few pounds from day to day. Try your best to ignore that. Instead, look at the long-term trend. Is the line trending down? Then you are losing weight. If the line is not trending down, if it's staying in the same place for week after week or even month after month, then you are at the weight loss plateau. If you are lucky, you are already at the weight you are happy, a weight that's normal for your body and then everything is fine. But if you are still clearly above normal and you want to do something about it, you may have to change something to keep losing weight. Here are the top three tips to help you lose more excess weight. First, make sure your carb intake is low, ideally below 20 grams a day. Use our visual guides, recipes and meal plans to keep it simple. And testing your ketones, as discussed in the previous video, can prove that you have managed to stay very low carb. Secondly, only eat when you are hungry. Don't eat more often than necessary. You may just need to eat three to four times a day. Don't eat more than necessary. To stay satiated after a meal and avoid snacking when you are not hungry. Be especially careful with cheese, nuts, or low carb snacks and desserts. Potentially even add some intermittent fasting like skipping breakfast if you feel good doing that. And finally, number three, consider if you can sleep better at least seven hours a night and handle stress better. 
This lowers stress hormones and increases weight loss. And that's it. So how about exercising? It's great for your health and for your body composition, but it's not a major factor for weight loss. So for weight loss, consider it a bonus. To summarize, a keto diet turns your body into a fat burning machine, stay very low carb and eat enough fat and protein to stay satisfied. Beyond that, let the body burn body fat. If you are not hungry, just let the body do its job burning your body fat 24-7. That way, you can expect to lose around 1 or 2 pounds of body fat every week without hunger until you approach your ideal weight. If you want even more weight loss tips, check out our guides link below for everything you could do. A keto diet, however, is far from only about weight loss. People often come for weight loss, but they stay for the health effects. And that is the topic for the next video. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.